This is the moment that London drill rapper Trap Mash Gid, also known as Stefan Simpson, and his friend Ashley McKenzie went to a home and open fire in the South Shields area. Don't be getting it twisted, I do it for my LTH. But it's us, that's GID, still get man down on the mids. Lights, camera, action, he got shot that day. And they heard that trap match back, so they ain't feeling sick. Don't be getting it twisted, I do it for my LTH. But it's us, that's GID, still get man down on the mids. Lights, camera, action, he got shot that day. This is 300 miles away from London, and they were hired, the court heard, by a rival gang in the area who wanted to send their rival a message. This week, Stefan Simpson, aka Trap Mash Gid, has been found guilty after a trial where he said he was not guilty, so he'd potentially get three times the sentence that he would originally. They shot at this home that the prosecution said was a very well-planned attack that took weeks of execution. Stefan was a hired gunman and this is something again that I always say to youngers. These are the choices that you have to make in life. There will come a time when somebody will ask you to do something which doesn't benefit you in any way shape or form. He probably didn't even know these people that he was shooting at and the fact that he's now going to get a significant sentence shows the true consequences of his choice. The court has heard in a trial that the gunman shot at this house in South Shields area in Northumbria and nobody was hurt in the incident but somebody was coming outside at the time. Eight men have been jailed for their involvement in this case. The judge said they face considerable sentences in prison. Newcastle Crown Court heard that Paul Mamat and Joseph Millard instigated the plot in a bid to warn off a rival. They enlisted the help of London-based criminals Colin Crawley and his associate James Townsend. They would be the architects of the shooting and Caspian Binder was also involved. Following weeks of planning with the other two men, they hired the shooters, Stephen Simpson aka Trap Mash and his friend Ashley Lee. They travelled from London to the North East to carry out the offence. They expected the attack to occur on the September the 16th, 2021, and it was in the Heat and Gardens area of South Shields. Simpson discharged a firearm at the address just moments after the victim stepped outside the door. The sophisticated plot saw Simpson and Mackenzie given access to a property in the Gateshead area where they also had a stolen car that was arranged by Tyreen Baglin. As part of the complex investigation, the police poured through hundreds of hours of CCTV in order to identify the suspects and also found encrypted messages. This led them to the safe house where Simpson and Mackenzie had stayed just before the attack and they found car keys and outside they found the vehicle which was a VW Golf and also a firearm inside. In the weeks that followed the shooting, as a result of extensive inquiries, Northumbria police supported the Metropolitan Police and carried out dawn raids in Tyneside and also London. Telephones were seized at various addresses, £30,000 was also taken and six grand from another address. Last year, four of the conspirators, Millard, Crawley, Binder and Bagley, admitted their part in the conspiracy and appeared in court. The remaining four, including Simpson and Mackenzie, all denied involvement and went on a 10-week trial, where they have today been found guilty. No, no more banging them doors, no more banging for 23 hours. I got come turn on my power, cause we slide right there in an hour, cause we slide right there in an hour. Then we stuck in the wing with life is here, free flow with a rock bull's dog. All eight of them will be sentenced on the 16th of March and Detective Inspector Jane Fairlamb from the police said the investigation into the shooting has welcomed the convictions. She said this was an appalling shooting that took place on a residential street. The incident involved weeks of planning and a lot of preparation. So as far as I'm aware, nobody else in the media has got this story. This is an exclusive story involving the fact that Trap Mash is the one responsible for the shooting. So I really appreciate you joining me today. I really want to hear what people have to say. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news.